and Benny Agro Processing Company Limited, Rayfield Jones. To tell us who has won this award and will be driving home the car tonight, let me welcome His Excellency one more time, the Governor of Plateau State. My Excellency, Mr. Vice President, my, ex my colleague, Governors who are here, my Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to announce the winner. And the winner is amazing. The winner is Benny Agro Processing Company Limited. That is from, from Plateau State, Rayfield, Plateau State. Benny Agro Processing Company from Rayfield, Plateau State. And to present the award and the car keys, let me welcome here His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. number of the car is FJ520034. Congratulations. So money is also different, it's one million. And congratulations to you. Your governor is here, he might double it like Cross River did. Uh, am I committed the governor? Uh, okay, you want to hear his voice? He should double the car. <laughs> I greet you all great people of Nigeria. Um, at this point, I will put for your request to give me some little time to start from the root. I want to dedicate this award, this gift, to my community, the great team of Benny. I dedicate this award to the team of Benny. We are full of young teenagers and youth, talented individuals that want to see how we can move Nigeria to the next level. We want to do our best to see that Nigeria becomes the eagle of Africa. We want to see that Nigeria becomes the king in the world want to move Nigeria to see it gets to a place where Nigeria exports machineries out of Africa. <laughs> I am very, very thankful to the microfinance banks back in our state. They discovered us, which is Mogovu Microfinance Bank, with the manager, Mr. Simon. He took us as their child. He helped us to see that we could start something. I'm so, so thankful to my state. That's Plateau State. I'm so thankful to our governor, Governor Simon Bakula Long. He made sure that everything went properly by using the office of the Plasmeda with the DJ, Mr. Hagar Guta. They came to the village where we were, discovered our, the talents we had, and then linked us with the federal government. They did their best to see that we were able to grow. I'm so, so thankful to the federal government. The federal government was as their own. They supported us with the office of this madam, where they gave us orders, they placed orders of machines they distributed to people with the manager, Mr. Diko. I'm so, so thankful to them. I can't say anything without giving thanks to the office of the vice president. I'm so, so thankful. I must say you are a blessing to Nigeria. <laughs> we are entrepreneurs, where SMEs could be known, where SMEs could be helped and supported to move to the le next level. We bless you for that. 
I repeat again, you are a blessing to Nigeria. May God give you more and more. May God give you more wisdom to see how we can make Nigeria great. At this point, I'm also dedicating this gift to all the youths, the youths in the Nigeria, uh, the, <clears throat> to Nigerian youth. Every Nigerian youth that is out there doing his best to see that we make Nigeria great. May God make your sweat not be in vain. May God see that we achieve our aims and make Nigeria great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, his daddy is here, Your Excellency. And he's a very young daddy. A very young daddy. Vice President, Your Excellencies, Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I won't be surprised, I will say I won't be surprised, because in the last two years, this young man has been making not only me, but my state, my state proud in MS ME. I tried to find out what I can do for him, extra, which is extra skills. But today, let me use this opportunity on behalf of Plateau State to stand here to extend our gratitude to Mr. Vice President. I've said it several times, and the President for introducing this scheme. It has helped take the sweat out of many state governments, including this one. For this purpose, I now think I will do something. In addition to this, I've awarded a scholarship for him to study in any university in the world. <laughs> Secondly, as we go back, I'm going to start. I know his village. I know his place. I'm going to get a three, start building a brand new three bedroom flat for him. He already has a car. His father, who produced him, I will also give him a brand new car. <laughs> <laughs> 